Hey guys, what's up? This is Daza Vlogs, and today I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like a little request thing, cause I don't understand Tagalog, so I'm gonna play half of the video uh, just to give you a response of the video because I I think it's good to that people know that um, they were on the show. Um, I don't know. There's no subtitles, but I'm I'm cause someone told me they won a car on this show. Wow, I'll win! So I'm gonna play it at two thirteen when they do the reveal. Um, so it's at 2.13, here we go. What kind of car is it? Mercedes? Mercedes SUV? So, very emotional moment right there. Uh, that's great. He gave him a car. But where's the car? Like, I, what kind of car did they win? Do you guys know? Um, hopefully there's a follow-up video of uh, them getting the car. That's great uh, that they won. Wow, oh, win. That's amazing. Um, I actually saw the comments on the video that people were saying, like, um, wow, they're on the X Factor, and the X Factor didn't give them, like, enough money that they can't even afford a car or something like that. I was like, wow, really? We, we gave them the exposure. This is what uh, I learned when I moved to L.A. Like, doing shows or even movies and stuff like that, never do it out of just exposure. You gotta make sure how much you're gonna make. I, mean, I don't know if it's from, maybe if, if they were from the Philippines, they're like, okay, we don't have to pay them that much. They were on tour for a little bit, then we'll just pay them what we can. But then there's no revenue after that, you know, it just cuts off unless they did a song with the, the X Factor and, you know what I mean? Um, royalties come in like that but I don't know if they do stuff like that because they didn't sign with anybody in Europe uh, I know they're managed in the Philippines only so I could see why you know so if they ever go tour again in like a X Factor reunion or the top 10 favorite X Factor performers of each season Hopefully, if they get picked, they should do something like that. It would be really amazing and tour all over um, Europe. That would be so cool. And uh, maybe they could get it going again. But Simon, did you forget about them? Oh, man. I mean, that's sad to see them like go through those emotions. It's just happening again where 
they, it's like, you know, they're booking, they do shows and stuff, it's enough to whatever. They're the main source income in the family. I know their sister's a nurse that was supposed to sing with them as the fifth member. And then they have a little brother, and then, let's see, five, six, seven, I think, there's seven of them, right, all together? Four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, I think there was eight of them all together, so yeah, that's about right. And then, um, that's just a shame, because, you know, they're so talented, it's like, they each should have their own car or someone, you know what I mean? It's just so sad that they don't even have a car. And they're like all in tears on stage. They, they, even the audience is crying because they know they're dreamers. And they're tired of seeing them in third place. I'm just so sick of it. So I just feel you guys on that. Thank you for the request. Uh, sorry I didn't react to this sooner. Um, it's just very sad. It's very heartbreaking, you know. I mean, we all have our uh, trials in life. I, I, I mean, for me, I live close to work, so I can just ride my bike or walk. So it's like, for them to have a car that they never had a car, it's, just, it's really sad, actually. Because they deserve more than that, you know? So uh, thank you for the request of this video. I really appreciate you guys' love for Fourth Impact. And let me know any other videos that you have um up your sleeve let me know and i'll do them okay all right my dreamers you guys have a good day all right bye